Every day, humanity learns more about our vast, unique cosmos. NASA has made significant advances in space exploration thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope. James Webb Space Telescope has changed cosmologists' perspective on our solar system. The largest optical telescope in orbit monitors and analyzes celestial objects using infrared light. The JWST discovered a gigantic structure during its scan of the Milky Way. This enormous construction needs explanation. How will this affect modern cosmology? What will scientists do next? Please Please join us as we investigate the massive object found by the James Webb Space Telescope in the region surrounding the Milky Way's core. First, let's talk about the James Webb Telescope. James Webb Space Telescope spotted a larger object near the Milky Way's nucleus. The James Webb Space Telescope, originally known as the Next Generation Space Telescope, is one of NASA's finest achievements. James Webb, the NASA administrator for the Mercury, Apollo and Gemini programs from 1961 to 1968, was honored by renaming the Billion Dollar Telescope in September 2002. The design and development of the James Webb Space Telescope were primarily driven by two organizations, the Canadian Space Agency and the European Space Agency. On December 25, 2021, it was launched on an Ariane 5 rocket supplied by the European Space Agency. The James Webb Space Telescope was launched from Europe's spaceport in French Guyana on South America's northeastern coast. Northrop Grumman was the project's principal contractor and was liable for $10 billion. Concurrently, the telescope was created under the direction of NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, GSFC, in Maryland. The Space Telescope Science Institute manages the powerful Space Telescope in Baltimore, located on Johns Hopkins University's homeward-bound campus. This massive infrared telescope's primary mirror comprises 18 hexagonal mirror segments composed of gold-plated beryllium, resulting in a mirror diameter of 6.5 meters, significantly larger than the Hubble's 2.4-meter mirror. More specifics on the James Webb Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope will collect about 25 times the amount of light than the Hubble Space Telescope can, in addition to the Hubble Space Telescope. The low-frequency observations of the James Webb Space Telescope range from long wavelength visible red light to mid-infrared 0.6 to 23 microns. In contrast to the Hubble Space Telescope, which operates and observes in the near ultraviolet and visible 00, 0 to 12 to 0, 08 ranges, the James Webb Space Telescope must be kept in a freezing environment between minus 220 3 degrees Celsius and minus 370 degrees Fahrenheit to ensure that the infrared light from the telescope does not interfere with the collected light. It is located in a solar orbit around the Sun-Earth 1-2 Lagrange point, about 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, and its five-layered sunshield protects it from being heated by the Earth, Moon, and Sun. The Webb mission team successfully deployed the telescope's 20-foot gold-coated primary mirror on January 8, 2022, completing the final stage of all significant spacecraft deployments required for the Space Telescope to begin science operations. According to Gregory L. Robinson, NASA's Webb Program Director, completing all Webb Space Telescope installations is a historic achievement. This is the first time NASA has attempted to carry out such a time-consuming approach to placing an observatory in orbit. A very remarkable feat by everyone on our team at NASA and throughout the world. The launch of the telescope. The mission crew ultimately took a significant leap on January 24, 2022 when they launched Webb's thrusters and placed the Space Telescope in orbit around the Sun at the second Lagrange point after waiting for the perfect conditions. It will go almost a million miles beyond Earth to its final destination. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson extended a heartfelt welcome to all returning staff. Congratulations to everyone who worked hard to bring Webb to L2 safely. The images that were sent by the James Webb Telescope. I'm looking forward to seeing Webb's first photos of the universe, which will bring us one step closer to unraveling the universe's mysteries. The James Webb Space Telescope will spend the summer in a location that affords an unimpeded view of the universe while remaining cool enough to keep the telescope's scientific equipment and optics functioning properly. Joe Biden, the United States President, was the first person on Earth to glimpse a full color of the distant cosmos through the space technology's groundbreaking Webb Gateway. This image was the cleanest and deepest infrared image of the distant universe ever taken. The vast galaxy cluster SMAX 723, which comprises thousands of galaxies and some of the most distant and weakest objects objects yet detected in the infrared is depicted in this image, termed the first deep field by the Space Telescope. 
More images obtained by the web's cutting-edge scientific instruments were made public by the following day, July 12, 2022, to demonstrate the telescope's capabilities. These include the Carina Nebula, Stefan's Quintet, the Southern Ring Nebula, and the WASP-96b Spectrum. Thousands of people have never witnessed anything like the new cosmic origin myth that has emerged due to recent discoveries. The James Webb Space Telescope discovered baby stars in a stellar nursery, which was developed expressly for this purpose and was able to capture photographs of all 30 Dorados. One of the names given to the young stars in the Tarantula Nebula. The Tarantula Nebula. The nebula's appeal originates from its dusty filaments that have long been apparent in telescopic images. Astronomers use the James Webb Space Telescope to learn more about the intricate composition and structure of the nebula's gas and dust in support of the budding stars and distant background galaxies. When looking at the local group of galaxies which includes our Milky Way, the Tarantula Nebula stands out as the brightest and most massive star-forming region. The Large Magellanic Cloud Galaxy is 1,610 light-years distant. It's home to the universe's most luminous and hottest stars. As a result, scientists used three high-resolution infrared detectors on the James Webb Space Telescope to track the tarantula. The Space Telescope's near-infrared sensor gives the area the appearance of a burrowing tarantula's silk-lined home. A clump of massive young stars appears faintly blue in the rear cam view, exposing how their intense radiation has blasted a crater through the nebula. Only the densely packed regions around the nebula can endure the erosion caused by the stellar winds from these stars, and this is what you see in the shot as pillars confronting the cluster. These columns are home to developing leads that will one day break free of their smothering dust clouds and add to the nebula's overall structure. The Webb Space Telescope observed a newborn star through this process as it orbited and watched from afar, and even though the near speck revealed the star was only beginning to surface from its pillar and still retained a cloud of dust around itself. The Star Formation Process in addition, thanks to Webb's high-resolution spectra infrared wavelengths, a process that is involved in the birth of stars has been found. Let's imagine that whenever the Space Telescope's mid-infrared instrument detects darkness, illumination, colder gas, and hot stars in an area, we always look at the longer infrared wavelengths. The landscape takes on a completely new appearance when it is surrounded by clouds that are creating stars. It is believed that the transformation of a star into a point of light as it develops mass indicates the presence of a protostar within the star. Because of the dust grains in the nebula, absorb or scatter shorter wavelengths of light. Webb cannot be seen until the dust is transparent to mid-infrared light, at which point its true, hidden form is revealed. The discovery that the torrential nebula has a chemical component with an analogous structure was one of the most significant breakthroughs for astronomers. The chemical makeup of these regions is exactly the same as that of the huge star-forming regions that can be seen on the cosmic moon. Just one billion years after the Big Bang, stars had already reached their most fully developed state. More specifics on the star-forming regions. The fact that the star-forming areas of the Milky Way galaxy are made up of different chemical makeup than those of the Torrential Nebula explains why the Milky Way galaxy does not produce stars at the same worrisome rate as the other two. The Webb Space Telescope would make it possible for astronomers to investigate the Torrential Nebula and compare studies of star formation in the nebula and torrential due to its singularity. This would provide a wonderful illustration of what is taking place in the universe as it moves closer to its magnificent high noon. The James Webb Space Telescope has already started to investigate the cosmos in ways that have never been done before by obtaining in-depth photographs of star galaxies during the time that corresponds to the real time of cosmic noon. The remarkable invention has just recently begun in his work to rewrite the record of stellar origin. In spite of humanity's best efforts and decades of stargazing, many questions concerning the birth of stars still have not been satisfactorily solved. Well, we hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Thanks for tuning in.